30 bucks for a parking ticket for parking in front of my own store. 30 bucks. Well, hello, Bubba. Oh, hey, Pauline. You need something? Yeah, I need your help. I need to buy a present. Well, you've come to the right place. Nothing brightens an occasion like one of God's beautiful creatures hollowed out for posterity by a true artiste. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but this one's for my pen pal. Oh, an international flair. I might have something in the back. Oh, but she's a woman. And so I don't know what a woman wants. But you're a woman, right? Yes, Bubba, I am. <laughs> so you would know what a woman wants? Well, now wait a minute. We need to determine just what sort of message you want to send with this gift. You know, the art of taxidermy can mean so much to so many. Now, I've got some cute little ground squirrels I could dress up in tiny doll clothes. That's playful, but not too much of a commitment. I've got a possum in a top hat. Now that kind of says, hey, let's be friends. Dang it, I, I never thought about that. I, I guess I need something that says I'm sorry. Oh, trying to make up for something. Is she from Australia? Because I have this kangaroo rat on ice skates. We know, I suppose it could also work if she's from Canada. I could fashion a tiny little hockey stick for her. No, she's from Africa. She's a rich princess, but her family was thrown in jail, and now she needs help to get back to her fortune of gold and precious gemstones. But I forgot to send her the money. So. Now I'm just hoping to send her a gift so I can apologize for that. You didn't happen to meet your pen pal over the internet, did you? Yeah. Oh, Bubba, honey, that's... You know, I've got a gopher playing golf. I think it'd be just perfect, only 30 bucks. And you know I love you and I want to be here for you, but Linda's coming into town and maybe you should talk to somebody else because because Daryl's acting weird and it's just all I can think about. Okay. No, why don't you do it that way? It's just Daryl's acting really distant and, and I think he's going to leave me. I think Linda has finally talked him into it and I just, nothing is clean and she's going to be here and I just don't understand how one damn door gets so damn dirty. Lisa May? Well, that's just it. That's it! Nothing can be clean because I live with Daryl! Jesus. Mom, do you remember there was something I told you that was really important that I had to tell you, and then you got distracted by that slap chop commercial? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did I tell you order two? I got one for y'all so Wendy can finally learn how to chop vegetables decently. Well, why don't you give it to us for a wedding present? Why would I give it to you for a wedding present now? You're already married. About that. Daryl Danger Wolfhausen, you better spit it out, whatever it is you're hiding. Me and Wendy ain't really married. What? What do you mean you ain't married? Ain't that the reason you two moved in together? Because she tricked you into marrying I her? No, she didn't trick me into anything. I told you that we was married so that you wouldn't get mad that we was moving in together. So... She didn't trick you into having a ceremony without me there? No. Why, is that what you thought? No. And that certainly ain't the reason I've hated her all this time. Daryl, how could you? Well, I've just been awful to that poor girl. Does she know you told me that? Nope. Yeah. Why would you go and tell me something like that? Mama, I didn't want you to be mad at me. Yeah, well, how's that working out for you? Ow! I'm a... I'm a... I'm gonna propose to her this weekend, okay? So just, you can't say anything to her because I don't want her to be mad at me this weekend. I should tell her. 
Now I've got to apologize for all the mean things I've said to her. Okay, look, just wait until after she says yes before you talk to her, okay, please? Fine. But you better Shh, not. Here she comes. Oh, hi, Linda! Hi! <laughs> we got the guest room all set up for you. Daryl's been so excited for you to see the new oh, house. Oh, sweet girl. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm sure you've just done a marvelous job with the place. <laughs> 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 She did it. She's won. She finally talked him into leaving me. <laughs> so now I just gotta go pick up my schedule and then I go to the bookstore and I pick up my books. I'm real excited, but I'm kind of nervous too. What are you nervous about? You're gonna be fine. Yeah, you love books. I'm sure you'll find something good to read. She's not trying to find something to read. She's picking up her textbooks for school. In my class list. Well, that sounds cool. What, what, what else can you do with them? With what? Them texting books. You played that, that bird flinging game? No, dummy. Text books. Like school books. You can't play games on them. So, like, send and receive texts? I swear to God, I will hit you with a brick. Now, what are you getting mad at me for? I'm just trying to be a good brother and help out my little sister with whatever she's talking about. You don't even know what she's talking about? Denny Wright, she is going to college, a school of higher learning. <laughs> oh, you better shut that down right now. It's a good thing I came. Lisa May needs at least one of her siblings to be supportive. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I'm so supportive. I, do you know who she calls when she needs a drinking buddy? That's right, me. Ooh, I'm Denny Ray. I'm always her drinking buddy, but I never talk to her about her real problems, probably because I'm too stupid to understand all the big words she uses. Hey, shut up. I know words. Oh, yeah, you know words. Like hi and butt and duty. <laughs> hey, I I I'm Joe Dean. I think I'm better than everybody because I ain't got no sense of humor. Ooh, I'm Denny Ray. I think stupid things are funny. Oh, yeah, I'm Joe Dean and I got a great wreck and pretty hair. Ooh, I'm Denny Ray and I don't even know how to insult a person. I, you're welcome. I think we should have the wedding at the racetrack. You know, in the infield. Okay. And yeah, that's gonna be hot though. If we can do it with, if you can get somebody that'll do uh, sleeveless tuxedos for me and my guys. Good idea. Hey y'all. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Can, can we talk? Uh, 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 right now, I, I can't right now. Um, me and me, and Mama was about to go for a drive. I, I got to go into town and get something. Do you need anything? I, I needed to talk to you. When we get back, I promise. Oh. Londa, are you alright? Uh, she's fine. Come on, Just so happy! <laughs> I ain't going back in your weird animal room. That is my taxidermy alcove. And they are not trying to steal your soul, Lamar. You don't know that. You don't know what lurks in their minds. Well, they're dead animal carcasses. It's mostly clay form that I put there myself, yo drunk. Oh, hello, Lisa May. You needing something? Uh, yeah, kinda. I'm about to start over at Sharp County Community College. Good for you. Education is real important. Don't let them tell you nothing. That's how they want to control you. What? You... Hush! Don't listen to him. I'm just nervous about getting started, and I don't know where everything is. And I'm Lisa gonna... May, you're going to be just fine. You are going to love college. It's a time for learning and growing, experimenting with your body and your mind. That's what they want you to think. Who? They, them, like an alien experimentation. Who are they? They're like you don't know. I promise you, I do not. You probably already work with. See the eyes all around this place? Those are dead animals. Those eyes are made of glass. I buy them by the case. Well, they follow me around everywhere I go, and that's profiling. Did you come in for something, or did you just drop by to accuse me of stuff? I have a tanning appointment. Oh. It's Wednesday already. 
Well, all right. Bed five, you know the way. It's a saying, Wenda. Are you sure? Do you want me to leave? No. No, 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 no. All right. Tell me why you think Daryl's going to leave you. I'm sure it's just a big old misunderstanding. Well, I invited Wanda over yesterday just out of the blue. And when she got here, she was all happy. And, and they won't even be in the same room as me. And they're acting all weird. And Daryl won't look me in the eye. And she's being nice to me. Wanda, nice. To me! Well, that could mean a million things. Maybe she's just happy to see you. She ate those cookies I bought and didn't even complain they weren't homemade. Oh, good cookies. She hugged me. Hugged me? Oh, no. You're right. This is it. Oh, my God, Linda, I'm so sorry. <laughs> is there anything I can do for you? Like... Maybe smash his windshield or slash his tires. I got some friends back home who can make him disappear. Jodine, I don't want to have him killed, but the windshield thing might work. Consider it done. Why is this happening? <laughs> no, ma'am. You sit here on this couch and you dry those eyes and you keep calm. If he doesn't know what he's got with you, then he can pick his own damn nose. I don't think that's a thing, Dirty. Oh, hush now. Do your breathing exercises. It's gonna be okay. <sighs> Daryl ain't gonna leave her. Who the hell else is he gonna find with his eighth grade reading level? And besides, if he does find somebody else and leave her, well... I'm just kidding. It's just a trank gun. It wouldn't kill him. <laughs> It'd put him out for a day or two, though. Hey, you are. Hey. Bubba, how did you know I was here? Well, uh, Daryl and Wenda didn't know where you were, but this was the first place I thought to look at. I got you something. Bubba, I want it. <laughs> Look inside. This is so nice. I know how you like to be organized and stuff like that. And, and you could write down all your classes in there. And... Bubba, thank you so much. <laughs> I've been real nervous about starting school. What if I'm not good at school anymore? Are you kidding me? You were the best student that Buckspoon High School ever saw. You actually took the ACTs. <laughs> well, to say that everybody else is going to be there, it doesn't mean they're going to be good uh, at I, I'm sorry. Um, Daryl locked Londa in the basement, and now the door's stuck, so I got... Sorry. <laughs> no. Oh. So, Mama had information, and she's about to blab it, because that woman can't keep a secret. So, to keep her from giving the game away, I locked her down in the basement. How was I supposed to know the door was going to get stuck? Daryl, I got to pee real bad. Come on, let me out of here! <laughs>